This recipe is for a basic cookie dough, but we can easily adjust to make all kinds of variations. To start the recipe, we take butter at room temperature. Then we're going to add the sugar and we're going to mix it all together. It's not a good idea to try and mix butter with your hands, especially at room temperature. So let's try it again with a wooden spoon. The lemon zest is not essential to this recipe. So if you don't have any lemon, by all means, leave it out. I love adding it, uh, especially if you use the right grater. But if that's what it takes to be free, I don't mind. Still, still, still moving to me. Still, still moving to me. We're adding some vanilla essence to the uh, recipe now. You could also experiment with other flavors like an almond extract or orange blossom or something like that. Uh, feel free to experiment. But vanilla is a nice, uh, uh, easy flavor in the middle of the road. This is the final mix before we add the flour. So we want to mix it really well because after we mix, mix in the flour, we want to minimize the amount of handling that we do. Effectively, the dough is now ready, but we would need to chill it for at least 30 minutes before we use it. Or alternatively, if we've pre-made it for another time, then just leave it in the fridge for up to a week, or uh, you can also freeze it. In this way, it's really easy to make small batches of the biscuits and to make all kinds of variations very easily. So I make a few with nuts on them, some others with chocolate or with stem ginger. And so everybody gets the biscuit that they like.